So today we're going to do uh, another tutorial of how to service FM DV Mark 7 A and R, so atmospheric and recirculating valve. This process which we are going to show you is relevant to all forged electronically controlled solenoid valves using the TAT body. Now it's quite a straightforward job on this, uh, it's a case of simply undoing the top of the valve from the base and in order to do that all we do is just twist this part of the valve here, but twist around and this will all come off in situ. Simple as that, so I'm going to catch both parts. Okay, remove the spring and you can push your finger through the valve and push out the piston, like so. So now, once we have this disassembled, you will see we have an O-ring at the top which seals the base to the lid and we have two internal um, O-rings which seal the piston as it slides up and down. So there's many different tools you could use. So I tend to try and use um, tweezers to try and pick out the O-rings. Don't worry about damaging these O-rings because you're going to replace these in the new fitting kit. Or you can also use your fingernail like so start to push it, the o-ring, and then very fine o-ring, so you've got to be very careful, very gentle with that one. Um, and now the internal o-rings, again, these are fiddly to remove, but with tweezers they come off not too bad. So grab that one, there we go, that one there. Now using some tissue paper, just clean out all the old grease that'll be in there. I mean, this is a brand new valve, but after it's been used a fair while, after a few years, we recommend this every three years or 20,000 miles. Just worth replacing those O-rings. Clean out all the contaminants, and your valve body is now ready for a new O-rings. The service kit needed for this valve is FM DVSK, FM DV MK7A, However, we offer a service kit for all our valves, which can be found on the drop-down menu on the Forge website. The contents of this kit are as follows. We have a bag of O-rings, we have a pot of grease, and we have a new piston. First is replace the O-rings for the piston and the valve top. Like so, so we've got one, two, three, four, and five. So we'll start off with the two internal O-rings and this can be a little bit tricky so I always suggest doing the bottom one first and just slowly push it down so it sits in the groove like so and then grab the second one and there we are just like so and we've got these th this very thin O-ring, as you remember, was the O-ring that goes in the top. It seats in the top of the base of the valve. All right, so that's that complete. At this point, take your uh, splash of grease, and again, we suggest you wear gloves for doing this, and just smear it on the inside of the valve. And a little smear on the actual piston itself and then drop the piston in place very steadily. Just run your finger with a very minor bit of grease on the top of the array, on the top of the base. Now, pop the spring back in and gently, I would suggest pushing down slightly on the spring with the body at the top just do the valve back up nice and gently. Now don't go too too hard, you only need to nip it up like so, because if you try and graunch it right up, you can have a case of damaging the O-ring, and we don't want to do that. Try and um, line up the two vac ports as well. Like so, right, hand tight, that's all it needs. So, the kit has three remaining O-rings now, two thick ones and another O-ring which is the same uh, size and thickness as the uh, piston O-ring. So, using tweezers, 
just remove these O-rings. There we go. Like with that one. Like with that one. And the one. There we go. And that one as well. Pop this one on. So this is the thinner of the two of the three O-rings. That pops on like so. The larger on the base here. And then the smaller one on the, that part of the base there. So that is the service of FMDV MK Mark 7, or known as the TAT solenoid valve complete.